Hello and welcome back to Road to KSB2. Today I have three special launches for you guys. Um, in these missions we'll be finishing up some contracts, gathering up some extra funds to make our way out into the further solar system. Um, but before that I have to ask you to like, comment, share, and subscribe and it really helps me out but if you really feel so inclined please ring that bell it you know helps me out and you out to see whatever icbm test 2 is how we start off today um basically it's just going to be a flex to scare those fascist vegan anarchists yes we have some fascist vegan anarchists in this world it makes no sense, and that was the point. It was to just make a dumb name. It wasn't anything political or anything like that. It's to make a dumb name. Alright. Um, yeah. So as you just saw, um, it overheated and exploded the back of it. Um, which was fine, because we had run out of fuel by that time, but... Whatever. Um... In actuality, the head of this would be holding a nuclear warhead that um, ended up getting a little bit too close to home. Um, uncontrolled. See those those mountains way off there in the distance? Yeah, those are the mountains behind the KSC. Uh, I almost nuked the KSC. <laughs> um, but anyway, it ended up splashing down in the water, the dummy warhead. And basically, um, now we're starting off with our second launch of the day, which is Owlsat 1. Um, it'll be a new uh, Keo Kerbal's positioning satellite or whatever. Um, Kerbal positioning system. There we go. Uh, yeah, it'll be going up to Keo stationary orbit where it will help do things like position Kerbals and in their tiny cars in the fake cities that just don't exist yeah uh yeah so we're launching out to uh to that area and here's our first uh first stage coming back in for a landing it's a textbook landing I'm getting these down when they come in over the water and now our second stage just finished up its circularization burn. And yeah, you saw I had to boost a little bit away because I was afraid it would break the solar panels. Um, but I, I tried something this time to see if I could auto land this at the KSC. Um, you'll see how that worked out. Uh, it started doing this thing where it would just like rotate weirdly and... Let's do all this stuff. So I ended up like manually like fast forwarding it. And that that didn't really help. And it just kept doing that wobbling thing and it was kind of annoying. And then here it is starting to hit the atmosphere, still doing the weird rotating thing, and then it eventually just flips over. Um anyway, as you can see up there in the top left hand corner. Uh, the satellite portion is, is making its way out to uh, Keo stationary orbit. Uh, it's actually already made its way out there. It's in a transfer thing, but it's still trying to find the correct pocket. Now this is like really hard to make the correct pocket, but I I I, I struggled, and as soon as I found it, you'll see what happened. Um, but on the other screen, as you can see, we're landing, and I said the, the while, it, while that landing system got us close, it did not get us anywhere near where I can do on my own. Um, but as you can see on the other side, I finally got it over the, the place where I need it to be. Or actually, I'm extending out my total orbit. Uh... And it'll extend our uh, 
orbital period so we can make it more likely for us to uh, encounter being above the the periapsis or whatever and then we lose all control of it it goes dead it's unresponsive and we eventually it'll eventually deorbit itself anyway owl set 2 this one replaces the failed owl set 1 and has a much much better uh, outcome so this uh, this rocket is I believe our our 10th our 10th launch of one of these I, I mean I could be completely wrong but let's just say like they're all the same one I mean the one oh it's our I think it might be our 10th successful landing but I could be completely wrong um yeah so it's now coming in uh it's 10th successful in a row blah all right it's coming in you see it just released the satellite on the second stage the second stage is about to start deorbiting itself after we deorbit this one yeah so they're coming in pretty close to each other um except so this time I did this one entirely manually. None of the auto landing or anything. Even though it's up there in the top, I'm doing it all. It's not even active. See, there I there I go in. And then I had this idea of trying to get it like directly on the pad after the last time. So I like angle it over and then I ended up running out of fuel, but I still got it onto the area that it considers to be the pad which means I got 100% for everything I brought back, including the fuel that is still, well, there was no fuel, Never mind then. All right, so here we are uh, messing about with the height. Now, this was incredibly frustrating. So one of the reasons for the failure of the last one was the fact that there was no long range dish on top of it. Now I needed to put the dish up there and it kind of blocked out some of the capability of what it's supposed to be up there for, but it's fine. It, it's all pretend. It's not actually doing real science. So it's, it's fine. Plus I've already gathered all of the science from this area, so I can just send it up and it's fine. All, all I'm doing is getting paid. Anyway, I'm just slowly raising the Apple apps right here. And then I finally got it perfect. And I do the execute node and we launch out there. Now, this one was like excessively boring and tedious. I really hated this mission and I will not be choosing a mission to put something over selected point in Keo stationary orbit again. I only did this so it would give us, I think, now we have well over, a, I think a million and a half funds. And this gave us that half. Like it was a big contract. Uh, and I, I do not want to do one again unless it has a much higher overall uh, mission not mission but unless there's a like unless it's like a million dollars i'm not doing it again it it was just a pain it probably took me you see this right now it's sped up at around eight times speed i believe no not eight times six times it's sped up at six times speed right now and like it was just boring it was boring it took me about an hour and a half to do this mission not including the mission before, which it also took me about an hour to do. It was just not fun. Uh, like, just the constant finding yourself in orbit again, all of that. The only thing I can say is that it finally got us to tick down to the right amount of time for... Eve missions, but then I found out that we aren't even in an actual Eve encounter, it's just a bug in the clock that uh, KSP put in. So that's not even true. 
The only thing I can really say is that it's closer for us to do our next uh, Jewel translation burn for that one rocket that's on its way to Jewel. And it's just another couple days closer to when our uh, Mars mission comes back. So yeah, that's about it. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this, remember, please like, comment, and or subscribe. And um, I'll see you anywhere or again. And you know what? Tell me how your day went in the comments below. I'm actually curious. Tell me. Tell me how your day went. And I'll, I'll respond. Yeah. All right. See you guys. Peace out. Bye.